everyone, it's Nicole the Math Lady, and today we're talking about Fact Families Part 1. It sounds like, like the first part of like a sequel. <laughs> Here we go, Fact Families. I love Fact Families, by the way. Now, one thing you might get to know about me is that um, I can't sing, but I like to sing because it helps me remember certain things. So whenever I hear Fact Family, there's a certain song you might know that is running through my head. It's an older song, right? We are family. Okay, I know, I told you I can't sing, but occasionally you might hear me sing. It helps me remember that a fact family has some numbers that are part of a family. Yep, particularly we're going to be talking about three numbers here. Let me give you a set of numbers. Let's do uh, seven, nine, and sixteen. But well, let me show you. Here's how these guys are a family. We are okay. Here we go. So we can add seven and nine, and when we add seven and nine, we get sixteen. But because of the commutative property of addition, we also can add nine plus seven and still get sixteen. So you'll notice that we have two addition statements. Let me uh, uh, circle that. Okay, but we're not done. Remember I told you how subtraction and addition, one undoes the other? Well, they are called inverse operations. One undoes the other. Let me show you. We're going to start this time with 16. Start with our difference, and we're going to subtract one of our add-ins. So let's subtract 9. 16 minus 9 is 7. Oh, look at that. Let's try the other add-in. 16 minus 7 is 9. So look, I got two addition statements and two subtraction statements that shows how these numbers 7, 9, and 16 are related. And that's what's called a fact family for addition and subtraction. Let's try another example. Let's look at 4, 8, and 12 and see if they form a fact family. Remember, we're looking for two addition statements and two subtraction statements. Well, we know that four plus eight gives us 12. But remember the commutative property of addition? I can flip those around. Eight plus four also equals 12. So there's my two addition statements. If I have two addition statements, it means that I've got two subtraction statements coming up. So we're going to start always with the difference. Oh, excuse me, well, with the sum. It's going to, you'll see. <laughs> I mean to say the sum. We're going to start with the sum. 12. And now we're going to subtract a 4. That gives us an 8. That's our difference. That's what I meant to say. And now we're going to start again with 12. We're going to subtract 8 this time. And our difference is 4. And notice, each time we use the 4, the 8, and the 12 in a different way to form a fact family. So remember, this kind of fact family has two addition facts and two subtraction facts. And that's it. Part 1. I can't wait for part 2. I'll see you then, right? Okay. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.